morning show. We're having a great morning here. Grab another cup of coffee. We're still talking with Rob from Naked Aspen Design about arts, big people, arts and crafts. Um, tell me about this cool wine rack here. I think that's pretty neat. That What's it is, made out of? Uh, that is reclaimed oak. Okay. And then the base is reclaimed pine. I've been building okay. them for years out of aspen. You know, yeah. I take an asp okay. aspen log would be where that is, but it's kind of an original design, a little ergonomic. It's right. got nice lines. The bottles sit at opposing angles. So right. It's kind of right. one of those architectural fun things yeah. that I just came up with. Cool. Um, so walnut, aspen, pine, oak. Oak, is that what you said? barnwood. Barnwood. I, I work. I, uh, I love working with all old things. barnwood. Yeah. How different are woods to work with? Um, the aspen is probably the easiest. Okay. It's a soft wood. Okay. Sands really easy. Yeah. Cuts really easy. Um, been doing a lot with the beetle pine okay. lately. That's that, awesome. That would probably be on the more difficult. Not difficult, but the dust is very fine, okay. and it's got it's got the pine pitch mm -hmm. and pine tar mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So. It's a little more of an irritating sawdust, yeah. even though I wear a respirator. <laughs> even though I wear a respirator, yeah. um, you know, in my workshop right. when I'm when I'm cutting wood and causing all that okay. sawdust. Okay. Um, the barnwood's great because that just has aged, you know, over yeah. fifty to a hundred years. Yeah. And the old hardwoods like this oak, cool. I just sand the dirt off, and you get all those yeah. beautiful saw marks and, and cool. the, you know the patina that. You can't really fake that kind of patina. Right. It's basically right. just been weathered yeah. for, for so long. No that, manufacturing that. Um, so these are small goods. You also make very large things. I do. That's kind of what got the business okay. up and running was okay. custom designs for folks. Okay. Um, TV stands, dining room sets, bedroom sets. Okay. Okay. Um, if I want to redo a whole wall, I can call you up and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I've done you know quite a few built-in okay. entertainment centers. Shelving units, um, I would say more than anything, a lot of my stuff is standalone pieces that okay. people need. They'll okay. bring me their own design or yeah. they'll, they'll bring a photo yeah. with the dimensions that fit their okay. spot. Very so cool. It's pretty hands-on. It's pretty exact yeah. to what that person's looking okay. for. Okay. And if um, someone wanted to do that, they can find you? Uh, they can find me in my showroom okay. in uh, the Fraser Valley Shopping Center, which is Great. where Alco is. Great. Um, I'm on the corner of the building, and I've been in okay. that spot for about four years. Okay. Um, cool. So Big showroom has kind of all things that you do. Yeah, it's it's uh, kind of an artisan gallery. I have about okay. 20 other artists in cool. there as well. Very cool. Um, from pottery to slate, um, quite quite yeah. a few Rounded different out. things: photography, watercolor, local watercolor artists cool. in there. So very cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's not just the furniture <laughs> now. I, I've, right. I've branched Grown. out, and I love yeah. I love handmade art, right. you know, in right. many different forms. So yeah. it's great to carry these other local artists mm -hmm. in there as well. That is and, awesome. Um, you can yeah. also find you online. Yep, I am online at nakedaspendesigns.com. Okay. Okay. Um, and I did just have a really cool Google Map virtual tour done in my store. Awesome. So, if uh, if people Google my business name, Naked Aspen Designs, yep. the uh, virtual tour is the first thing that pops yeah. up, so they can, from the comfort of their laptop in their living right. room, just kind of browse through the store. Yeah, it's really great. I've used it. Yeah. It's awesome to kind of just see what's in there. Right. And, yeah. Right. And it's pretty recent. It was just done a few weeks ago. Cool. So what they see is is about what is I there. still have. Cool. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um. Is it three D? It is three D. It is three D. You can spin and you can look up high and it's uh, it's a really neat technology yeah. that yeah. I mean I know it's been there for Google Maps yeah. for a while but to do it for businesses is yeah. a really really fun thing cool. for, for people to see and if they look and you know see something they like they can yeah. just stop on in Come the in. store so Fraser Valley Shopping Plaza is where you are yeah thanks for being here thank you so much yeah come back it. and bring some new things and things we're always looking I will. for I'm always Funny. making new things cool yay <laughs> um, thanks for hanging out with us here on TV 18 we've had such a great morning show um, Scott Ladine was here the director of parks recreation and golf for the Fraser Rec District learned some fun new things check out that needs assessment if you haven't already ready uh, joe kelly with power world in granby um, if you're looking for something new um, go check him out and athena from powder tools um, learn some fun new things with her and then of course rob with naked aspen design so um, check us out tomorrow 7 a.m peace out winter park